So there's our first part of the finger. Whew. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is we want to put a sphere right here. Uh, actually, first thing we want to do, we want to move that finger out. We want it to center on the XY axis, XYZ axis, so that when we move it, we'll, I'll show you, let's, let's put a, Let's put our first knuckle in before we do much else. So I want to go over here to the tools and get a rotate and try to get this thing to rotate. We'll pick the x-axis. No, we want to rotate on the y-axis. So we want it to be y-axis and we want degrees just because that's nice. Now what's going to happen is the y-axis is here so it's going to rotate in the direction that we hope. Now that's going to be, we want a new constant for the rotate. Um, because rotation is going to be a separate, a totally separate thing. When this, when this hand uh, grabs something, it's going it, to, you're going to want it to rotate. So that's the kind of the way of, uh, the knuckle moves. But the problem now is it's moving, it's moving about its center, and that's not how we want it to work. We want it to move about this end, the side on the X plus X. So if we go back into the cylinder. There's a couple ways to do this, but we can just set this. This offset is where to where to set the the uh, center of the shape. So, if you offset it by one in X, that'll mean it'll it'll shift it to hopefully. <laughs> okay, it's the uh, it's the opposite way that I want it. All right, we have to go negative X then. Negative. Okay. Right now, let's see. Now we've got our rotation more like the way a finger would rotate on your from your first knuckle there okay all right so I've got that set up right and we're going to use that uh, later on to uh, to set up each knuckle we're going to want to position it like this one okay so we need to put a sphere right here well let's see so to do that let's grab a sphere and we don't want to hook the sphere to the the reference. We want the sphere to be hooked somewhere out here on the uh, with the rotation, but we want it to be shifted. So let's let's grab a 3D translate. And so this is going to hook to there. And we're going to want to translate it by some amount based on this input. I'm right clicking to get the uh, to get the bends in there. And let's see what this looks like. Okay. So we've gone the wrong way. So I'm going to need a uh, another factor in here of negative. Let's see. So I'll duplicate that. Bring that connection back a little bit. Which is going to be messy because I bent the wire. There we go. Now this um, this guy is going to be negative something. So it, we can see as we change this this number, it's going to move our our first knuckle there. Okay. So let's make it smaller. And again, we start from here. We'll get a wire. Start from there. Right click to bend. And copy this one and we want this to hook to all three X we want to hook to width height and depth all right position a little better so you can see what I'm doing all right so now what we've got is we've got this uh, cylinder and the sphere hooked together but uh, see this negative this is the sphere is inverted. You can see the shadows are in the wrong place. So we've got definitely need to make it positive. If for no other reason than the shadows looking the lighting looks correct. And so I can make the knuckle bigger than the uh, bigger than the uh, bone like this. That might be a nice way to go. And I'd like the I'd like the center of the sphere to be at the end of that. Well it doesn't have to be. I guess it could be anywhere. Alright, now let's test our theory about this that two things should happen. This adjustment should change the size of everything. Okay. And this adjustment should change that first knuckle and bend the sphere and the cylinder together. Okay, so you can see where we're going here. We just need to do this a couple more times. Um, our time is at 11 minutes, so 
why don't we move to the next lesson? That'll be uh, 12A. <laughs>